going on, everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's find some news, man. Hashtag find some news. Today, we've got 15 PC mods and testing. We got 54 console mods and testing. With all those 21 mods released today, Sid Modding shows progress on his John Deere 9R. Black Eyes Modding are bringing some more Sammy and Lamborghini tractors in game. Connect Modding teased their Case IH self propelled sprayer. JA Modding shows off their Case IH 61 row planter. Custom Modding are already talking about updates to their early riser planter that released today. JHHG Modding has information on not one but three new mods that he's working on. Ada Modding's adding auto load to their Joskin Wago pack. Nico Picks teases the last mod coming with the Matra Agri pack. Steve's mods is back! Plus, Peter716 is updating Greenlands, but do you need a new game save? Let's check it out. It's ST4 PC. We have the Diverse Tank BR, Gate Pack, Homemade Subsoiler 2 Elm, Hydraulic Diesel Tank, Italian Demo Version, Machine Shelter, Argus Deutz 232, Mirdane, MN Cow Pasture, Modern Cow Cal Stable, Poppenheim, Sitma OS 7531, Civic Culture Trailer, Six Ashes Farming Agency Edition, and Walkin 2K20. It tests the four console. We have Active Horse Stable, Plus Jaguar 900, Cobblestone, Cow Shed, Cow Shed 3 Plus 3, Farm Tech EDK 800, Portrait B352, Griffin Indiana 19, JCB TM420 Ecomax, John Deere 2266, John Deere 4500, Kruger HKD 15, Grown Flatbed Trailer, Vernlin Tar. 4032 mower BX. La Cornella. La Cornella 2.0. Lens of River Poe. Large grain storage. Lizard Cultivator 3 Elm. Lizard Short Wood Trailer Pack. Lizard The Beast 1000. Maxi Interface. Matriatina 2418. Matri Pack. And TGX 26640 Coffer. Manure Storage Pack. Met Corporation Pack. Modern Garage with Annex. Mushrooms. These actually released yesterday, but were pulled from the Mod Hub less than five minutes after they released. New Holland T7. 2011 series. New Holland Versatile. Open Chicken Coop. Placeable Eco Green Factories. Placeable Factories Pack. Placeable Factories Pellet Pack. Polsai. Revoke 6000 TSI. Seasons Geo Productions. Seed Factory. SIP Pioneer 20. SIP Spady 3K12. STX Quadrack. STX Steiger. The Old Farm Countryside. 10 Barn. TMR and Pig Food Production. Ursus 1204 1614 Pack. Ursus 1212. Ursus 904. Ursus C3120. You U.S. Hay Silo, Weight Pack 800-2250, the Wilson Paysetter Spread Axle, and the Zader 12045-16145 Pack. With all that being said, we still have 20 Mod City waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is one workday. In addition to the mods that testing, 21 new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod up. I've already made a video showing these up. You can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below. Before we get started today, I want to remind you that I will be MIA tomorrow and over the weekend as I'm getting my wisdom teeth taken out tomorrow morning and I won't be able to record videos to my normal standards so I'm going to be relaxing and recovering and we'll be back on Monday at full swing hopefully. In the meantime I will be releasing a replay of today's farm sim show tomorrow on the YouTube channel here as well as a new episode from Bucks County on Saturday though I do not have a video planned for Sunday at least as of yet. We'll see what I can get recorded today but that being said let's jump into today's top stories. And we start with Sid Mining saying that the winner of his which mod should focus on contest next stuff contest was without a doubt the John Deere 9R 2021. Hey, I want to see it too. He says a hard week's work modeling the new John Deere with about 85% complete. He still needs to do the texturing, programming, and tests, but it's coming along very quickly. I know that the John Deere 9R, regardless of the year model, has been one of the most requested mods at FarmSim 19 since it was released. And yes, making this for all platforms. Next up, we hear from Black Eyes Modding saying that they're doing their last checks on these tractors that you see right here, Sammy and Lamborghini. They're a little bit different from what we have in game so far, especially from them, so keep an eye out for these because they might be a new mod pack. I do think that we have plenty of these. What do we have, like five or six of each of these tractors from different modders? But it looks like it. But hey, what's one more, right? Let's just let's just get it over with. Everything from Black Eyes does. Uh, it's our all platform, so I don't think this will be any different. Connect Monic shows off their current progress with the Case IH Patriot 350 self-propelled sprayer, which is part of their Case IH South American modding initiative, which includes a few other things, including one planter that we're going to talk about next in this video. You can see from this screenshot that the machine is going to be enormous with what I expect to be a very modest tank capacity and boom width. Connect modding not only makes equipment that is realistic, but also works very well in game. 
so I'm excited to see what the final product will play like. And the planter, you ask? None other than the Case IH Model 61. That's right, 61 rows of mean planting power brought to us from JA Modding and Miyoto Modding. They say that they're at full strength with the new model and it looks great. As I've said before, John Deere fans have gotten a lot of love when it comes to cedars and planters recently, and it looks like the red brand is coming back with a vengeance. And that all started with today's release of Custom Modding's Case IH 2150 Early Riser 16 row planter for all platforms. You can check out my preview video of it from last weekend or the official release video in today's new mod vid. Even if you're on the green team, I still recommend that you download this because it is a beautiful mod and I really want you guys to be able to check this out because the detail is insane. Custom modding do say that soon they will have an update to the mod that will bring the 12 row and 24 row versions in game for all platforms. In addition to those, they say a cart where liquid tanks will come in the future to expand the capacity liquid fertilizer as well so stay tuned for that moving over to the green team now if you're tired of hearing about the red stuff jhhg modding updates us on three mods that they're working on and a secret one starting off with the john deere db120 for all platforms he says that everything is completed with the exception of some of the configurations which are around 80 percent complete and they have a little bit more testing to do because they're only about halfway done with that as it sits right now this will be the largest planter by far in the game once released high quality low poly count the best of both worlds even though it's like three hundred thousand. it's a little bit insane the db120 will also have over 1300 movable elements which is crazy there is one secret feature of this mod that has yet to be approved by giant software but let you know once they announces it secondly from jhhg modding is this john deere 1720 12 row stack fold planter for all platforms everything on this mod is finished with the testing process by 80 percent completed at this time he says that the poly count is 329,000, which is crazy for a 12 row planter, making this his most detailed mod to date. JHHG does say that this mod will bring one new game changing feature, which we will see highlighted for Farming Simulator 19. It's the first time whatever this feature is has ever been in Farm Sim 19. So I'm very excited about that, but I have no idea what it is, but I'm hyped. And lastly, from JHHG modding today, we have their John Deere 8RT for all platforms, which still needs to have some work done to it, but it's moving along very quickly. This is said to be the first 8RT in game with 3D tracks with some caveats uh, on Mod Hub slash. Uh, it's not even for consoles. This, the 3D tracks will be PC only. Unsure as of why that is at this time, but I can tell you, it's a bit of a bummer. He is aiming for the middle of April 2021 to get this mod out to the public, so you better believe he is moving along quickly with this. Like I said, there was a fourth mod teased as well, but it's secret, so no information is known at this time. Check out JHHG modding at the link in the description to check out all the latest detailed information released today about these mods. Ada Modding has started the process of adding auto load for square bells and round bells to their Joskin Wago pack with more possibilities to come in the future like baby bells and Heston bells, maybe something else as well. We'll just have to wait and see. Adding auto load isn't an easy process, so it may take some time, but it'll be totally worth it. Nico Pixis teases the last trailer coming with their Matra Agri trailer pack, the Dump 18T and the 21T. This will be in addition to the PMF and the PMSTR bell trailers, the Vulcan manure spreaders, and the Atlas 18 Tipper. He does say soon for all platforms, though it is unknown at this time how long that's going to be until we see them. So stay tuned for the testing list and new mods released to stay up to date on the progress. It's been a while since we've heard from Steve's mods. I missed you, bro. But today he shows off new screenshots from his next map conversion, Thornton Farm. Very excited about that, which will be for all platforms, though. He says the progress has been made slow. So there's no official date or release window as of the time of recording. The best way to stay up to date on the progress would be to check out Steve's mods linked below and tell them the DJ sent you. Steve is a great friend of the channel and personal friend as well, has been a big supporter over here. So let's return the favor. Much love, Steve. And lastly, today we hear from Peter716 for the first time since the release of his last map, Greenlands, which, hey, it's going to be getting an update. And that's what we're going to talk about today. As the map has already been submitted for Giants for testing for all platforms, the update will be number 1.1. Fix the silage pit collisions, fix the wood chip heap, removed the sleep trigger and added a viable one, and lots of other smaller bugs and things like that have been fixed. He does say that it should still work with the same game save that you have, but there may be a few things that will not work at least as expected. It's always recommended that you start a new game save unless the mapper says otherwise. In this case, DJ Goham would recommend that you have a new game save since there's some larger changes with collisions and things like that. And I would recommend listening to the outro as lots of you have been asking where certain mods are recently, and this is the most important part of every episode of Farm Some News. Just like every episode, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. 
There are no release dates for mods. I myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released, no matter what they tell you. If I didn't talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes only, most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Goham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Hey. All right. Last farm sim news until Monday. Wish me luck.